Now moving on, this is a uh, the Masonic uh, Temple uh, in Toronto, and this was taken over by MTV, and then MTV uh, is now broadcasting from the Masonic Temple. You can see the square and compass in the back. You can see the stage and who they bring in. MTV and the use of the Eye of Lucifer. And their television shows. And you can see again the triple six sign being used. Now MTV funded for the first time uh, in history this video was funded uh, exclusively by MC, uh, MTV. This is by LCD Sound System. You can see the lightning bolt. You can see his use of the Masonic uh, salute, which is the Pledge of Allegiance sign. That is Masonic. At midnight she came to collect the souls of the wicked men. Here's the Eye of Lucifer. So this goddess uh, portrayed in this video now goes to all of these uh, power mongering men. Uh, they are asking these men to sign contracts and when they don't sign contracts she this light emanates from the hand or her hand and she lures them into a Masonic Lodge. And in between all of this these images flash at split seconds and this is the Eye of Horus or the Eye of Lucifer the square and compass of Freemasonry with the generative principle uh, representing the G and then of course the eye of Lucifer and the G it looks like here uh, with light emanating and so they are now lured into this Masonic Lodge you see this the checkerboard floor you see the uh, some type of a, a master there you see the skull you see the single pillar you see the checkerboard reflected in the eye and these men are looking around and the interesting thing about this is that the people that are already uh, in the lodge when they come in are representative of looks like here military looks like the executive branch or the politicians and the publicans and then you have the police uh, the domestic police and so what is this saying this is saying that they are already controlled by the Illuminati and Freemasonry and I believe that to be exactly the case here we have at the end of this uh, this woman here now has directed all of this and she has there's this image is flashed and you have look the use of alcohol and force and bracelets and other elements pills cards um, I don't know lubrication or whatever but what the what is the meaning of all of this and then now this is the actual actress and she is doing using this hexagram in the eye one eye symbolism again these are all ministers and they're all acting in unison to indoctrinate people unknowingly and we are the initiate uninitiated uh, now MTV looking at this again this is one of the ads that they had a few years back uh, this ad campaign touch it and you can see touch it refers to the the um, bunny and the rabbit which is the Playboy logo which is for fertility and sex and probably most likely this is the middle finger again so that sexual connotation see it now you see this bull and you see now the opening of this third eye as in see it all of this occult symbology hear it I think this is just a bunch of chaos going on smell it going into the nose and then taste it you can see that this is a red faced uh, demonic type entity and then in the middle is this uh, experience it is the spiral of Archimedes which is used in hypnotism uh, and in the middle is this woman and she has eyes everywhere you see the owl of Minerva eagles here's the dragon in the hair you can see here the eye of Lucifer emanating and skulls all of that occult symbology 
and now you can clearly understand it with the commercial that came out with regard to this campaign and these are aborigine types you have these two little creatures here looking at this and they are chanting and when they do chant um, you have this bull come out and the bull now there's lightning around this bull and the opening of the third eye which is the spiritual eye you see the pentacles here and then they go into this trance with the rabbit now fertilizing all of this occult symbolism then the shattering uh, and this eye with black liquid uh, coming out. I don't know exactly what that represents, but it uh, seems very similar to that last plate where Bimbo and the Secret Societies and this, uh, the, what is it, uh, uh, messing up of the mind anyway, or the shattering of the mind. And then you have the Yoni symbol, which is very similar to the uh, Christian uh, fish symbol being used in the navel uh, and all of this coming out of from the navel you see the tattoos here looks like an eye and uh, so you can understand that we're being indoctrinated uh, on a level that we don't understand uh, on the basic level but when you understand what the symbols are then you can see there's something uh, there's a program going on this is a pretty famous commercial that was done years back by MTV and it culminates into a person uh, having a horned head that fell off the wall now dressed in a ministerial gown uh, here you have a minister I believe you have two twins and this uh, daughter with blood spilt uh, as in sacrifice and then this person here I don't know if that's a murder scene or what but the entire commercial is has is riddled with a cult and it's uh, cleverly done that way Now looking at the 2009 VMA Awards, uh, this is, was an entire ritual altogether. And we begin with the High Priestess. This is Madonna, dressed in black. And she recites the verses of uh, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize y'all's neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse's shell. The foulest stench is in the air, the funk of forty thousand years, and grizz, grizzly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom, and though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, and no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. And so it begins this ritual, and you have Jack Black next, who praise to Satan and this looks like a uh, comedy and I'm telling you what they did was actually hold hands and uh, bow their heads and prayed to Satan himself and it's very this is national television so the entire nation uh, watched this and it looks like comedy but I'm telling you they do this ritualistically and you'll see what happened uh, uh, and later on, we have Lady Gaga here. Now you can see she's dressed as the horned owl. Her dancers have female panties on. You can see the stage set. It is two pillars in the arch. And you can see uh, the keystone up here, but the arch, uh, two pillars of Freemasonry. You can see... Uh, that this was a mock sacrifice because she begins bleeding here. The stage turns red and she is hoisted up and lifted while all the, the dancers praise and the light emanates from the center of the two pillars. A mock sacrifice on national television. In addition to that, the same 2009 VMA Awards, here's Michael uh, or Janet Jackson, you can see the symbolism of the black and white uh, dualism. This is Pink and her performance and you can clearly see here on national television a an initiate into Freemasonry. Here is the initiate blindfolded as she is blindfolded 
a noose around the neck. She does not have the noose, but she does get hoisted up. So I believe that this is the representation of this noose, and you can see that ritual play that she does after this. You can see the left breast is exposed as it is here. You see now the left leg is exposed as it is here, but the variant is that the uh, clothing represents the floor of Freemasonry or the floor of the lodge. She is not actually on the floor of the lodge here, but you can see clearly the Freemasonic reference to an initiate into Freemasonry. And then she gets hoisted up and does this dance, and it is very reminiscent of the Hanged Man, uh, which is a tarot card. Uh, the Hangman is also in the movie I Am Legend. He is hanging there for a number of uh, hours as the sun goes down and has to be uh, uh, resurrected. You see the Ankh here. And so he has to escape from that uh, position. And here we have Kanye West. Now this is the 2009 or I'm sorry, 2010 VMA Awards. And you can see here he's dressed in quintessential satanic colors. This is red and black. You see the single pillar of Freemasonry as you do here with Washington and in previous plates. So this is obvious Masonic symbolism as well uh, as this alternating disc uh, which was done for the 2010 VMA Awards, uh, black and white alternating disc uh, for the stage and you can see that alternating disc here is now white. Uh, now the performance itself was uh, straight out of Greek mythology. These are the three versions and he is the either Satan or the paramour and I believe it would be symbolic uh, to be both and in this case uh, the paramour and in this legend or in this uh, uh, occult uh, rendition the Karaites uh, were the virgins and the paramour if was caught with the one of the virgins was put to death and that was the uh, uh, tradition back then and so you can see if you are knowledgeable in the occult knowledgeable in these uh, uh, legends uh, of the of mythology and uh, Greek civilization and Roman civilization then you can get a job being a choreographer uh, for Hollywood and the entertainment world